President of the Jamaica Football Federation, Michael Ricketts, has urged the local players to seize their opportunity in the 2018-2019 season of the Red Strand Premier League as their performances could lead them into the national team. Simon Preston was at Thursday's launch. Since the end of the 2018 FIFA World Cup qualifiers, head coach Theodore Whitmore has been given credit for giving players who ply their trade in the Red Stripe Premier League playing time at the international level. President of the Jamaica Football Federation Mike Ricketts, who was speaking at the launch of the league for this season, says local players must use this chance to get themselves into the national colours. These players now can play to impress the selectors and gone are the days when we had this influx of overseas based players whom I have always said sometimes not better than those locals we have. So it's an opportunity for the locals to really impress our coaching staff. Ricketts has also expressed optimism ahead of the new season. We are really looking forward to the start on Sunday. Like I said last year this time we we're having issues but this year it's, it's all systems go and Sunday we will definitely be starting the Premiership. Cavalier SC midfielder Siobhan Marsh has set high expectations for himself this season. For me personally, I, I target 25 goals this season, knowing the, knowing the fact short last season I was injured for a lot of pass of the stage and I finished with 10 goals and stuff and I feel much stronger and much better. So I'm going to finish with 25 goals with my club and grab a couple goals at, on the international level. 28-year-old utility player Keithy Simpson has signed a two-year contract with Waterhouse and he is confident of their chances to succeed this campaign. We have a good bunch of guys. I can attest to that, you know, and the coach of us working really hard and the players are committed, so I'm very happy with the players, yeah. National player and UWIFC goalkeeper Amal Knight is hoping his team can get a spot into the playoffs after missing out last season. Uh, we lost a few players but I think that we replaced them pretty well. Um, this year it will be a young group and I'm, I'm, my task is focusing on the youngsters and helping them to build as, as possible. Um, get um, some maturity in the league because as I said they're, they're, they're youngsters and with the guidance of myself and some other senior players at UAFC, I think that they'll progress well and hopefully the top six is, is what we want to achieve by the end of the season. Head coach of UE, Andrew Peart, agrees. Excited, of course, because it's a, a new venture, a new venture for personally for me and also for the university. We are very eager to get going and very eager to perform much better than we did last year. Last year we came down to the wire we finished seventh on goal difference outside of the playoffs and this year we, we figured that there are some things we can adjust to change that to finish in the top six. Five matches will start the league on Sunday while the Monday night match of the week to be aired live on TVJ will see Waterhouse hosting newcomers Dun Beholden at Drewsland. Reporting for TVJ Sports, I'm Simon Preston.